Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Natural Health News on iHealthTube.com. Well, you may have heard your gut referred to as your second brain. Well, now research is showing there is a connection between that second brain and Alzheimer's disease. Research out of Sweden is indicating a strong connection between gut bacteria and the formation of beta amyloid plaques that are a signature of Alzheimer's. Researchers found mice suffering with Alzheimer's had a different composition of gut bacteria compared to healthy mice. Now in the study, intestinal bacteria from diseased mice was transferred to germ-free mice. The result was a development of more beta amyloid plaques in the brains compared to if they had received bacteria from healthy mice. Researchers hope this new information might open doors to new opportunities for treatment and prevention of Alzheimer's. Well, we know that stress is damaging to the body and there are many ways to deal with stress. One new way may be by taking prebiotics. Prebiotics are known for their digestive benefits and are types of non-digestible fibers that probiotic bacteria feed on and are found in plant sources like asparagus, oatmeal, and legumes. In a recent study, researchers in Colorado fed test rats a prebiotic diet for several weeks before a stressful test condition and compared those rats with rats who did not get the prebiotic diet. The rats who ate the prebiotics did not have a disruption in gut microbiota from stress and recovered healthy sleep patterns sooner than the control rats. Researchers say the next step is to see if humans will see those same results from prebiotics. And finally, a weedy invasive plant might be a key to disarming a powerful antibiotic resistant staph bacteria. Researchers at Emory University uncovered the chemical ingredients of the berries of the Brazilian pepper tree, an invasive species common in Florida, and tested them against disease-causing bacteria. Researchers found that a composition extracted from the berries basically disarms the dangerous MRSA bacteria and prevents it from excreting toxins that then damage tissues. Stopping that process helps the body's immune system to better heal the wounds. That's a look at what's making headlines in natural news this week. To stay up to date on the natural health world, make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter. It is free and, of course, go to iHealthTube.com. Thank you for watching this video and thank you to those who have supported us on Patreon. Remember, that's the best way to make sure that we can keep bringing you this kind of content. If you'd like to sign up and support us, there's a link right here on the right. Also make sure to sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, that's on the right as well. And stay up to date with the latest videos. A couple of the newest ones are right on the bottom of this page as well. Thanks again for watching.